Previously, on Night in the Woods, May went back to sleep. May, get up again! What are we gonna do with you? I only met her for one day. It's not even one official day. And she's already sleeping in. Anyway, previously, on Night in the Woods, we met May and the janitor guy, and we destroyed some things and went to a playground. Met May's dad. Not much else, though. That was just a prologue, after all. It was just to tutorialize us about May's life. Ah, they were cute. Who doesn't like cats, anyway? Yep, except for the eye part. The eyes are kind of... Ugh. Good. Very good. The Kuperoskis. I think I pronounced that name right. We can explore this house a little bit more now that it's the daytime. Well, ever since you left, apparently. Hmm, maybe May's dad could do it. It's not like she's gonna do any work. Eh, see, it's only fair. Her dad's gotta do it. I'm certainly not doing it for you. I'm just here to talk about your life, really. Because they feed it! And take care of it! You know how pets work. No, I don't think that's slavery. I mean, he probably likes it in there. It's probably like a luxury suite to him. Ghost stories! Oh boy! Death comes to Wigglesbury. The fancy corpse. Ooh, I like that one. He was wearing a top hat. Hill Mall Stevenson! That sounds like the full name of Mondo Mall. Necropus, book the first. Lady Shark! This sounds like B movies. The Stoat on Gallows Hill. He has a lot of ghost books. Kinda like this guy. I'm into a little bit of horror. And May's mom is into grisly books about crimes and children. Crimes done to children? That's probably why they're sad. Well, looks like her mom's books are here. Let's see what she's got. Oh good! What a great passage to land on! Is that the actual name of the title, or are you just reading the back of it? Jeez! Her mom's kinda metal. I gotta say. The dad books are in here too! Hey, I kinda like this guy now. <laughs> Tip mice. What? I'm a guy. Come on. I don't even know what the Grackle is, but I know it's complete and there's three volumes of it. So, May's dad really likes birds. That's why he let me in today. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm a bird. And he was like, welcome to my home. Do whatever you want. Wake my daughter. Yeah, very good question. I do not know. Uh, I guess it's a kind of bird. I don't know. I've never met a Grackle. Not personally, anyway. That, that sounds like your mom. I might as well have a chat with her, too. She sounds like an upstanding fellow, with her crime books and her children, and the eating the horses. Hi, May's mom! Yeah, thanks for not picking her up. Thanks for making her walk through the woods and get arrested by her aunt. I mean, she could have killed herself yesterday. What do you mean by that, anyway? Are you suspecting something? Does something have to be wrong? I think she's talking about why May needed to come home. Hmm, she was in college. I went through college. Oh, we have something in common here, then. So something happened at college. Maybe. May's not giving it up. She's just fine. She just wanted a summer vacation real bad. Actually, it's autumn here, so... Autumn vacation! I mean, she's been gone two years. She could have at least gotten an, an associate's degree. Oh yeah! The other friends! Uh, what's their name? Oh yeah, Greg! I remember Greg. He was the uh, Mice Rider fellow. He hangs out with a guy named Angus, doesn't he? Well, we're gonna have to head over to the Snack Falcon and say hi to Greg. Yeah, we're just gonna go over and say hey. We've had a Snack Falcon for a while, May. 
In fact, it has a gas station now. So it's a snack and gas falcon. There's a guy in there that keeps on making really bad gas jokes. Uh, they're, they're trying to make him stop. There is a thing going through the council right now. Ah yes, construction, because the roads are crappy around here. It wouldn't be Fall and Possum Springs unless they were fixing the roads. So they could get broken again over the winter, thanks to all the snow we get. And ice. So, yeah, I guess they have to pretend to do something. See you later, Maze Mom! They got a new drawing! It's just Mom. Also, your parents forgot you, and you forgot to spell your right. Come on, hey, what is this, the internet? Jeez. So, anything else new with you before we get going? I do not notice, Mrs. Krangler. I don't think I live in the same neighborhood as May. Well, people do that, I guess. No, May, she wrecked her Harley up there at Bike Week. Come on. Oh, wow. She was around a long time. That means she was around before cars were invented? And she probably saw the Civil War. When was the Civil War? That was like 1840s. Okay, maybe she missed the Civil War by a little bit. I wish we had contests around here. Person that hasn't died the longest. So you got anything else new for us? It's very important to talk to the characters several times. It's RPG rules. Hmm, interesting book. Is it about crimes? Well, boy. Well, that's very self-explanatory. Oh, that's such a sad story. Raised by eels. How does that work? In a well. How does the eels get in the well? I have questions. Eels. Yes, I understand the eels. We all understand the eels. My hovercraft is full of eels. Do you want to go back to my place? Bouncy, bouncy. Thank you. Thank you for the eels. It, it encouraged uh, things within me. Eels. Let's not talk any more about eels. No, no, no more eels. Thank you. We're going home now. We're going. We're going out. We're gonna go outside and do some not eel things now. May your parents are weird. I gotta say, at least one of them is weird. I don't know about her. Welcome to Possum Springs in the afternoon because May sleeps in. Did you see something? You look a little concerned. You saw a what in a car? Uh, yeah, that's kind of the thing around here. Uh, I don't know how much I can explain to you. Um, there's just things in mining towns that even if you live in them, humans aren't allowed to see. Oh wait, so someone just, uh, hold on, someone just walked into the room and uh, he looks a little upset. So what is it? I can't talk about that? Oh! Okay. Yeah, I'm not allowed to talk anymore about that because the phrase chicken dinner was used. Sorry! It sure is full! Everyone's digging up the roads. Yeah, before the, the winter starts destroying the roads. Oh, we can't get out that way. Unless we walk the long way, and we're not gonna be doing that. Uh, 20 minutes walk. You know what? It's not that cool out to be doing long walks. Also, May has no respect for other people's property. You see this? This is called a federal crime, and no one reports it. Not even Goatman over here. Mr. Twigmeyer! You are a German fellow. I can tell by your accent. No, it's not May, it's someone else. I forgot about that. Darn. We animals have a good sense of smell. We can smell a May coming a mile away. Then we hide, run for cover, she's after your logs. And then her mom starts talking about eels. I don't think May was a dirtball. Were you a dirtball? 
Okay, she was a dirtball. I'm buying it's a goat. Maybe it looks like she would lie to someone. You can count on us seeing both of us every day until something terrible happens. It just never. This is a quiet town. We're dirtball now. We're both dirtballs. Am I even a dirtball by association? Now we could explore a whole bunch of this town. Talk to everyone, like you. What's your deal? It's Selmers. Dropped out of college. Good. I don't think you should be running around telling everyone that. That's usually what dropping out means. You don't go back to college. You just throw money at them and run. That money you don't have, by the way. Oh no, I don't know about this relationship. I can't feel about it. You got a job in Brittle. Oh, I know where Brittle is. It's our county seat, actually. Yeah, that guy's kind of a jerk, ain't he? Anything else new with you, Selmers? It, is that a shiv? An improvised weapon? It's a shiv! Yay! Bonus points! Okay! Nice conversation we're having here. Yes, to scare him. Yes, <laughs> scare him right in the kidney. His kidney will be so terrified after that shiving. Well, at least the other kidney will be just fine with it until that one gets scared to heck. Alright, Selmers, uh, please don't shiv anyone while we're gone. Hello. It's everyone's porch. It's a free porch. This is America. You look like an interesting fellow. It's Mr. Chazikov. Ooh, do you know constellations? Sadly, I did not have this guy when I was in school because I'm not in, in the same district when I went to school. I did have a pretty cool astronomy teacher, though. I think that goes hand in hand. Yeah, dude, why don't you tell your teacher that? He will be very proud to hear it. Oh, we are very interested in constellations. You would not believe. I am incredibly interested. I would love to know more about the constellations. I'm not being condescending. I love stars. I, I love astronomy. Astrology, not so much. Stars. Everywhere, stars. This guy has stars on the brain. You know what? Before we go any other way over that direction, I've seen squirrels up here. So you are a very rebellious rascal, aren't you? Huh, I don't remember seeing this statue ever. Applebaum? The founder? He owned the co mining company. I don't remember seeing a statue of him now. Oh, you know what that they did? They, they uh, added a statue to our town. Because we never had the funding for one. So, at least in some way, we got a statue. Ah, oh, poor library. And there's even a plaque here, where no one can read it! How is someone gonna read that? They would have to climb the power lines. Father to all workers! A grandfather to their children! A great-grandfather to those children's children! We get it now, thank you. Yeah, we wouldn't be alive in Possum Springs if it wasn't for him building Possum Springs. Thank you. That sure is a surprise every morning. Stalker Bomb! That's her new name now. Hello, B. Did you get to my texts? That's creepy. I certainly don't want that looking in my window every day. Maybe it's better that we didn't have a statue in real life. Anything up here of interest? I like to check around everywhere. There's always something new every day. Like teleporting acorns. We were doing some hacky sack stuff with that. That's pretty cool. Uh, goodbye, hacky sack acorn. We've moving you well. Nah, there's nothing else up here that's of interest. Someone's got a little shrine there. If we had any of those spirit orbs, we could get another heart container or uh, 
Maybe some stamina or something. My grasp on reality is tentative at best. Hey, children! Let's talk to them and not be creepy. It's the Harleys! What are they up to? I, I don't know a little Joe. Teach me how to. Wait a second. Those don't have DNA. What are you talking about, kid? Stop being a kid. Well, May is now officially Lady. You are too old to be girl, you are now Lady. I hope you enjoy it. Well, she just got dissed by the Harley. Stay that. That's what you get for talking about ghost DNA. It's Danny! All these people I don't know. Small town! You don't really know many people when you think about it. You just know some people on your block, your neighbors. But May is like all over the place, because she's been here forever. Oh, sorry, man. Oh, no. Yeah, they always are, because people keep losing arms and such. So they're lying about the jobs in the area. I've heard this story before. I, I wish I could help, man, but uh, it's only been recently I started getting work myself. I work up at the Hand Panther now. Don't give up, though. I didn't. Yeah, someone in this town has to be hiring. Yeah, I heard, I heard this story. I've lived this story. It's called a zombie resume. See, I told you. They start throwing them out after so many months. Actually, I think there was a thing about that in, like, the news. Where, where they were sending, like, fake resumes to people and they were finding out that the ones who were unemployed for too long, they threw them out. Alan's one of those people. Yep, that kind of happens. It's not legal, I don't think, but it happens. Maze doesn't have a job either. She just got back from college. She has a degree in talking to people. Very good degree. I'm sure it'll help in some situations. Yep, she is in a better situation than you are, at least. At least our parents get to, you know, be parents a little while longer. Yeah, I guess she is. Just a big teenager. Well, that's true too, but it is the lifestyle of a teenager. You sleep like one. Yep, hobbies! That's what jobs are. Hobbies that they pay you. So, uh, would that mean if I just start getting paid, I don't need to consider Let's Playing a job? That's something to think about. Okay, thank you, Danny. I'll see you around, maybe. I'm just kind of, a uh, psychically attached to May at the moment. Let's check out what's in the Possum Springs newsletter. The bulletin board, I mean. Ah, Harfest is coming up! So that means we must be in mid-October. I can't wait for it to fall. It's nice and cool then. It doesn't get warmer as it goes. And what is this bouncy ball doing here? That's kind of rude. What are they insinuating? There's too many cats here? Wow, that's quite bouncy. Yay, Harfest! Boo! Bouncy balls! Let me just do one more bounce. Also, May, what is going on here? That's one stretchy arm you got there. You want to go try out for arms? I'm sure they're looking for new characters. It could be called Catastrophe. Huh, I wonder what this is all about. Casey Hartley! Awesome Springs! Last scene at the food donkey. Missing. Do you know this person? I certainly don't. Eh. I'm sure they'll find out eventually. Man, that's real terrible, ain't it? Oh well. Bouncy balls! Yeah! So, what else could we check out in town? I just realized that looking through town and just seeing all the stuff really eats up time. I'm gonna have to go with, like, Mother 3 Earthbound levels of taking time out of these videos. The tunnelfish! So, what do tunnelfish taste like, I wonder? Yeah, this area kind of flooded. Used to be a trolley station. 
See, this, that's why they call it the Trolley Side News. Hello, folk. I just got back into town. Hello, pierogi man. You must be a nice person because you know me. Oh. Okay, she is indeed a thief. May, what have you been doing? Ah, no wonder I have to keep an eye on you. This isn't even a restaurant, it's just a stand. Why is it called News? He, he's not worth it, May. He's not worth it. Don't mind May, she's not actually being rude. She's just trying out some stuff for a, uh, a stand-up act she's doing. Yeah! Okay, I lied. She's actually trying to insult the guy. Are you done? Are you done fighting with the pierogi man? Thank you. Let's continue on with our day. We have many things to see. Like the wall mural. Yep, mining jobs. This is what Possum Springs used to have. And they didn't have cars back then, so they had to run to their mining job. I bet they were very sore. Also, teenagers! Greetings, teenagers! I am from the 1980s! I existed before the internet! Ooh! And people wonder why I'm creepy. Usually I just like freaking out the teenagers by pointing out that fact. Also, how do you get piercings on... You know what? Never mind. I was going to point out the fact that he has piercings through bone, if that, that chin piercing has anything to do with it. It's cool that people still hang around out here. Unlike uh, me, I'm completely uncool. I'm feeling a little uh, anxious. I think someone's gonna pull out a shiv soon. And then my kidneys will be very disconcerted. It's only been a couple years. I mean, I got out of high school when I was around 18. I do know a guy that was in high school until he was like 21. Then they pushed him out because he could buy beer. Yeah, he had to go get a GED. No, no we can't. Oh, no, I can! I could buy beer, but you guys can't have any because, uh... I don't want to be arrested by Maze Aunt. Just saying. Nah. So basically you're just an old teenager. Good to know. Now we've been properly judged. Way to go, May. Well, you've been judged. I'm too old to be judged by teenagers. I'm immune to their angst. You, you're still new. You'll develop a thick skin for it. Trust me. Jeez, we're never gonna get the Greg at this rate. I might as well just keep going. Uh, you know what? How about we take a little bit of a break here? You can go yell at the pierogi man some more. And we cannot get to the church yet, because the church is up in that direction. The weather has messed things up. The weather left a huge mess. No one walk here. We want to clean the mess up first. There we go. Final thought for you. This place is falling apart. Good night. <laughs>